Hey Scorpio, I hope you guys are all doing really well. So this is going to be a general love reading for April 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And it is general, so that means it's not going to be everybody's situation. That is okay. If you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box. And the roles in this reading can be reversed because it's general. All right, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Let's see what is going on with you in April 2022. For the situation, we have the Queen of Pentacles crossed by the Devil. All right, so Capricorn energy um, showing up here. Some of you might be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, I feel like you're having doubts about your own self here, or... Um, maybe in terms of how you are perceived by, by the other person. But I feel like, you know, these, these thoughts, they're not really based in reality. These are like your own, your own thoughts. Let's see. For your energy here, I mean, and this might not be you, this might be them. Um, it might even be an attachment that somebody has. We'll see. So for you, we have Temperance, the Four of Cups, and the Two of Wands. All right, so, okay, here's the thing. I feel like, you know, you've done a lot of healing. That's the thing. You've, you've done a lot of healing for your own self. I feel like you have really progressed. Not only that, you have learned a lot of patience. You have um, found some balance within your own self. But then at the same time, it's like, because you've done that, like you're wondering why are you still not feeling happy or why is there, why are you feeling unsatisfied? And so I feel like you're having this like question. Like there's this big question, like, why is it that even though I'm healing and I'm doing, you know, um, all these good things for myself, why am I still feeling dissatisfied? Or maybe you're even feeling ignored by the other person, for example, or whatever. But there's a sense of just, yeah, not being, not being satisfied um, and just really not being able to figure it out. Kind of thing. So we'll see more when we clarify as to what's really going on because with the devil being here, I feel like, you know, um, it could just be like a negative thought pattern here or maybe things are just not as, as they seem. Let's see what's going on with another person here. We have the tower, the six of wands and the knight of pentacles. Okay, so This person is definitely going through something major here. Um, either a crisis or there's just like major transformations that they are having to deal with in their lives. And this could be either in their material world, like on a practical level, but it could also be spiritually or um, on an energetic level coming from within. So this could definitely be affecting affecting you or affecting the way that you think that this person is feeling or thinking about you. Um, I think we also have, yeah, I didn't call out Sagittarius. So Sagittarius is also on the table here. Um, so yeah, this person is going through something really, really big and whatever that is, I mean, it's, it's, it's pushing them in the right direction here. Um, they're getting on, on the right path for them. And it, it is a, process okay with the knight of pentacles it's not moving necessarily very very quickly but it is going to put them on the right path let's see the potential outcome we have the ten of swords hmm. okay I don't, I don't want to say much about that until we actually clarify it um, but it does feel like there's some kind of an ending i don't feel like it is necessarily for this connection although i mean it could be we'll see but i'm mostly getting that this is something pertaining to this tower that the other person is going through. So let's clarify and see what is up here. It feels like it's like an ego death for this person. All 
All right, so for the Queen of Pentacles and the Devil, we have the Lovers, all right, Gemini, um, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Magician, okay, possibly Aries as well. Wow. So there's, okay, there's definitely this, we're talking about um, a strong love connection here, okay? So if you don't feel like that's the case, this might might not be your reading because I'm, I'm getting that there is a strong um, connection here. Not only that, it's a connection where, you know, you could see this as marriage material, that it does have the potential um, for long, long term. And... So it feels like, you know, you're, if this is you here, you're feeling like, you know, you don't know if um, the other person is feeling the same way. And again, I mean, the devil is, is attached here. So there's something here that's not really the case. It's more of, it's more of an insecurity coming from within yourself. Or a fear, rather than it being, being reality. All right, let's see. So let's see temperance for your energy. The high priestess and the three of wands. So yeah, I mean, this is you, like I said, having done your work, right? Um, having gotten in touch with your spirituality, with your higher self coming into this alignment, but then it's like you're still waiting for something still waiting for something here that, you know, you feel like should have been here by now. Um, possibly this, this connection or just, you know, something within this connection, maybe more, more stability, right? Um, or like a, a fullness in coming together. It could even be because with the devil and the, and the lovers here in the main situation, for some of you, this this could even be that there is a third party involved. Okay, it doesn't have to be. This is just like a little side note. Um, so there could be that somebody needs to make a decision when it comes to commitment, um, and that you know there's there's a negative attachment to one of the the parties here. So I mean, even if that's the case, you know, it's like it. No matter how much you work on yourself, it, it can't really affect another person. We cannot control what other people do. You know, this it's all about how you are then able to um, either move on from this or just how to cope with the situation for your own self. And no, I do not mean cope with the situation as in staying here and... Um, accepting that okay I'm not saying that <laughs> but it's for your own self it's we don't work on ourselves to um, manifest what other people will do that's that's the point here and I know that's something you already know um, yeah let's see the four of cups the Eight of Wands and the Devil showing up again. Okay. Okay, so the thing here is that, so with, in relation to what I was saying before, so it's easy sometimes to work on ourselves and then um, think, okay, well then why am I still feeling dissatisfied, right? And the lesson in that is to understand that, at least that's the message I'm getting here, is that, yeah, but you can't, just because you work on yourself, you can't expect that happiness to come from outside of yourself. Yeah, you worked on yourself, you did a lot of healing, so that happiness has to come from that, not from outside of you, not from another person or from what another person does. And then that in and of itself eventually will attract to you something that is in alignment with you. So this unhappiness, right, this sense of disappointment, again, it's the devil is showing up here. 
Because what I'm seeing here is that, yeah, you have done your work. Eight of Wands, you have had so much progress. You have moved forward. Um, so it feels more like, you know, you're just focusing on something that that is not what you want at the moment. And it's like focusing on that and being like, yeah, well, look, I have this that I don't want and um, that makes me unhappy. But I really feel like, you know, um, something else is going on with this person and it's not really what you think anyway. Um, if they're ignoring you, it, it's not what you think. They're, they're having some kind of an ego death. So for the Two of Wands, we have the Two of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. So yeah, it, it feels like, you know, you're just trying to really um, find your balance or understand what it is that's going on here. I feel like it's a little bit of a struggle. Like there's just this big question mark. You're like, like, what the hell is going on? Like, why haven't things really fallen into place for me yet? Um, and of course, it's natural to think that, especially when you've, when you've healed so much within your own self. But I feel like you're working through this. You're working through this. I see you actually being able to um, cope with whatever it is that you're having to face here with this. So let's see what's going on with the other person here. So for the tower, we have the King of Cups and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, so this this tower, it feels like it's on an emotional level. Um, it definitely has to do with their own self. Again, I feel like it has to do with like an ego death. Of course, it could be in relation to other people as well. Um, but this tower is making them a little bit emotionally unstable. But whatever it is, it's serving a higher purpose here. It's something that was meant to come into, into their life at this point. Um, and I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is, but I, with this King of Cups, I'm definitely getting that this person does have feelings for you. This person does have love um, for you. But at the, at the moment, they're having to face some kind of a, a big, big truth about their own self, possibly even about their emotions for you. And that might be contradictory to some other, you know, um, belief that they have or to some other aspect um, of themselves or in their lives. And it's like it's the trigger to give them this tower moment, this ego death. Let's see, Six of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles. Wow. Wow. This tower is really creating a lot of shifts here um, for this person. Even concerning this ego death, like the result of that is this person being able to give more equally. Work together more efficiently with you. Um, more equal give and take. Um, so that they can be able to give more effort to this. Again, I do feel like for some of them, this might involve other people, not necessarily a relationship, but maybe just even, even society. I mean, it could be, um, or just involving other people and how much energy they give to other people. So it's like what they feel for you and what it is that they're realizing that they want with you it's like realizing that at the same time, well, then that means that they're going to have to um, distribute their energy in a different way, especially in terms of other, other energies, other people in their lives. And so that might actually go against prior beliefs that they held. And so therefore there is this, this ego death here for what they thought um, they wanted or what they thought, how they thought that they would be, you know, functioning <laughs> in their lives. Hmm. 
Let's see the Knight of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. A lot of pentacles. I wouldn't be surprised if some of you are dealing with an earth sign. Um, yeah, this person is moving in the right direction. This tower is a, it, it, it might not feel like it right now because when somebody is going through a crisis, I mean, they can just be like all over the place. They can be withdrawn. They can seem really unstable. Um, a whole bunch of stuff. But that's going to lead them to a lot of stability. Not only, I mean, it's throwing them on this path, right, with the Knight of Pentacles to move towards a new beginning in commitment with you, right? King of Pentacles, being very stable, being very secure, having a lot to give, giving all of their energy. So it's like this new path, this new door opening up. But we do have that Ten of Swords. So let's see what that Ten of Swords is. I feel like it's their ego death. <laughs> ten of Swords and we have, ooh, the Emperor, the Queen of Wands and the Two of Swords. Yeah, see, so there was something that was conflicting for them here. Um, and I feel like there was a conflicting energy um, concerning your relationship. So there was another energy or another aspect of them that was in conflict with them actually being able to give you 100% commitment. Okay, that's what this Two of Swords is representing. That is what is ending. That is related to their own sense of self, right? The Emperor here. Um, that's the ego death. But what they get out of that is this Queen of Wands, which I, I'm seeing this as being you, right? What they really desire, what they really have passion for. So, yeah, Scorpio, this felt a little intense. So if it resonated, let's see the final message for you here. And we have action. Now is the perfect time to act. Take inspired action towards your dreams. Move forward with confidence. So yeah, I definitely feel like this is what this person is um, diving into, basically, um, right after that tower, taking that action towards you. And I also see this as a message for you, you know, to be confident, be confident within your own self. Like you've done your work, you've healed so much. You don't need to question your own self, especially not based on what someone else is showing you. All right, it comes from within, not from other people. All right, Scorpio, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.